Hey everyone, welcome back to another flashlight video. This time Trustfire is kind enough to send us out this H6R headlamp. With, it's got a lot of really cool features in it. Three different sources of light outputs on this uh, flashlight headlamp. Um, so real quick to save time, went ahead and unboxed everything. On the upper left hand corner of the screen, I'll go ahead and put the uh, a picture of what the box looks like when you first open it. So you should be seeing that now. But real quick, uh, like I said, unbox everything to save time. So we'll go ahead and take a look at the box itself and then we'll go through everything that you get in the box. So Trustfire A6R headlamp flashlight, capable of a max of 1,350 lumens. It is USB type C, has a three year warranty. Um, got a QR code there. And on the back of the box, I have it just sitting on top of my uh, eyeglass case, just to elevate it up a little bit in the shot. So you do get the user manual, and I'll go ahead and put the user manual on screen here. So you should be seeing that in your screen now. Um, if you want to pause the video or take a screenshot so you can zoom in and read it, you can. So I'll leave that on the screen for a few moments here. And like I said, this is USB-C rechargeable, so you do get a USB-C cable. So very nice. You do get a spare O-ring. And in the box is this little warning about removing the insulator uh, before operating the flashlight. So that's what that's all about. We'll go ahead and set all this stuff aside. Well, I'll leave that there so you can see the box in the background. And we'll talk about the features of this H6R headlamp. So it's designed with three different light outputs. So it's designed has a uh, spotlight, it has a red LED light, and it has a floodlight. So three different light outputs here on this headlamp. Uh, good for all kinds of scenarios and different situations. Um, the floodlight here, the one on the left here, um, it has a color ratio index of 95. So on a color ratio index, the closer you are to 100 is the closer it resembles natural sunlight. So a color a ratio index or a CRI 95 rating means it's pretty close to what the human eye would see with the sun. So that's, that's pretty neat. Um, it's got an ultra high index optical system. Um, it's got this nice elastic band. It's, this is a headlamp, so it goes in your head. And let me take these rubber bands off so you can see this a little bit better. Okay, I'll have to take that. I'll mess with that a little bit later. So a little bit about the headband here. Hopefully you can see it in the shot there. It's a high, it's a high elastic and reflective uh, material, and it's br it's breathable. You can see all the holes it has in it, so it's very breathable. So making it very comfortable. It also does have a sweat guide on it which you can see here. So it has a sweat guide all the way around it. And it's kind of like a, like a, it's kind of a rubbery feel. I think that helps grip on your head. And like I said, um, a sweat guide and it's also non-slip. So it shouldn't slip off your head very easily. The LEDs are rated for 50,000 hours on this uh, flashlight headlamp. Um, I'll put it on screen here. The red light uh, on this uh, headlamp is designed not to attract mosquitoes and to protect your night vision at night. So you might see in like the military and stuff, they, uh, they'll use red lights at night for operations and stuff. That's to stop, uh, uh, not to affect your eyes and take away. When, you, when you're outside, and as many of you already know, your eyes will adjust to the darkness. If you suddenly have a bright light, your eyes will go back and it kind of messes up your vision that took you a little while to accumulate, accumulate to uh, at night. So that's why they use the red light at night to look around and move around. Um, it helps keep your uh, night vision going. Um, the red light also has an SOS mode. Um, this is IP68 waterproof and uh, dust proof. It is impact resistance to one meter. So if you drop it, I think it's like what, 3.28 feet. Um, so you should be good for, uh, if, in case you drop it accidentally for, for about one meter. It does have intelligent temperature control. So basically that's going to, um, you know, step to the flashlight. Like most flashlights nowadays are going to step down if they get too hot to, to protect the flashlight. 
Um, it's powered by an 18650 Tressfire lithium ion battery. It's good for 3000 milliamp hours. So we'll go ahead and take the battery out now. So this is the side where the battery is. And you'll see that little insulator there. So you'll remove that. That way the, the uh, light will now operate. So here you are, the Tressfire uh, 18650 lithium ion rechargeable battery. It's got 3000 milliamp hours of capacity. So very nice there. Do a quick look at the, uh, the end cap here. And uh, look down inside the flashlight if we can. Uh, I know it's kind of dark, so it's kind of hard to see. All right, let's go ahead and put the uh, battery back and we'll keep going over all the features. I'll zoom back out a bit so I'm not in so close. And just gotta get it started right on the threads. There we go. All right, once you get it started, this threads on rather smoothly. So very nice. Um, and as I said, this is USB-C uh, rechargeable. So to get to the USB-C, you can see the symbol here. You have to untwist this. And it is a bit tight, um, so just be aware of that. But you just have to turn it until you expose the USB-C port. Uh, I did have another flashlight like this many years ago that you had to unscrew uh, part of the flashlight to get to the USB-C port. So hope you guys can see that there. There's a USB-C port, that's how you get to it. And then uh, once you're done charging it, go ahead and put it back. Um, there is a LED uh, battery indicator light on this flashlight or headlamp, and it's on the switch here. And then once I screw this all back in, I'll zoom back out, sorry about that. So it takes a little bit to get that port to go back. So you have a little LED indicator here on the side of the light. Um, when you're charging it, this will be red for charging, and when the, its light is green, it's fully charged. Uh, so the battery level indicator part, I'll go ahead and let's see, turn this on here. You can see there it turns on for a moment. So you have a battery level indicator, um, and I'll tell you how it works here in a second, but um, green means what you just saw, the battery is between 85 and 100%. If you see yellow, the battery is between 50 and 85%. If it's red, the battery is between 25 and 50 percent, and flashing red, your battery is between 1 and 25 percent. You probably should recharge or replace the battery for extended use, so keep that in mind there. Um, now, you can check the battery status anytime you wish. You just press the button real quick, shows you the battery status. You don't actually have to turn the light on to do that. We'll get into how to operate the flashlight here in a few moments with the UI. Um, let's see, make sure I got everything here. It does have an electronic lockout function, which we'll also cover in the UI. Come up here in a moment. Um, the dimensions, I'll go ahead and put this on the screen. So it's 90 millimeters in length or 3.54 inches, 45 millimeters in width, about 1.77 inches, and 45 millimeters in height, 1.77 inches again. The weight, uh, is 150.6 150 grams or 5.31 ounces. And I don't recall if that's with the battery or without, but I'll put it on the screen for you. So let's go over the stats here, um, the outputs. We're gonna start with the spotlight here and I'll have it on screen here for you. So the spotlight, uh, low 30 lumens for 55 hours. So pretty good long run time. 30 lumens is pretty bright. I mean, as far as walking around even outside or indoors, uh, pretty bright to see where you're going. Uh, medium, 125 lumens for 18 and a half hours. High, 343 lumens for 8.2 hours. And uh, extra high, 1,350 lumens for 3.2 hours. I put an asterisk, uh, well, you might not see that in the screen, but um, just be aware it does have uh, intelligent temperature control. So if it gets too hot, it will step down. All right, now for the floodlight. You have two modes on the floodlight. You have high, 365 lumens for eight hours, or middle, 50 lumens for 32 hours. <clears throat> and we'll go through all these modes when we take it outside and do the beam shots here later. 
and the red light um, in either mode uh, it's five lumens if it's on and also SOS is also five lumens um, so if it's just constantly on the red light is supposed to run for 86 hours which is a pretty long time um, SOS mode it's gonna run even longer at five lumens for 172 hours um, max throw on this uh, headlamp here 152 meters and the max intensity is 5776 candela now I made a note they they provide here a 3000 milliamp hour 18650 battery but I noticed in the chart that they said they tested this light with a 3400 milliamp hour battery and not the 3000 milliamp hour battery that they give you so I would not rely 100% on the numbers I just gave you because they tested it with a um, larger capacity battery. So most likely um, the runtime, of course, is going to be longer if you have a battery that has more capacity than the one they give you. So just wanted to point that out to you guys. Um, so anyway, um, let me ahead and go ahead and we'll go to the UI here and uh, I'll go ahead and try this on and, and maybe take a picture of myself or film myself showing you how this looks on on your head and uh, let you know how comfortable it is. So anyway, let's go ahead and do that next. Okay, the user interface or UI on the Trustfire H6R headlamp. And uh, to help you guys out there, I'm gonna go ahead and put on the screen here the operation instructions for the UI for this flashlight. So put that on the screen now, you should be seeing that. So that way if you guys wanna read further on it or you can take a screenshot and save it for later. So you should have seen that on the screen now. It is fairly simple to operate, but does uh, get a little tricky. Um, not terribly tricky, but a little tricky when you go from spotlight, which it starts out in, to uh, the red light and then the floodlight. So, but we'll go through that here now. So anyway, to turn the flashlight on, you're just going to hold down the, the button for about half a second. And you're going to go, again, we're going into spotlight first. So this is spotlight, and you start out in low. To jump to the next uh, uh, level, which is medium, I'm just gonna click the button real fast. This is medium, 125 lumens. Next level is high, click it again, 343 lumens. Remember the camera is auto gonna is auto uh, is going to auto adjust for brightness. And click it again, we go into extra high, 1350 lumens. You can see it's got a pretty developed hot spot on there, but we are on the spotlight. And if you click it again, you're just going to cycle back down to low. All right, to switch into the next mode, which is going to be the red light, you're just going to hold down the button for a little bit. And you can see maybe just a little bit of a red glow on the, on the screen. And so now we're in the red light. And if you just click it again, now you're going to go into uh, floodlight. It's going to start out low in floodlight, so you have two modes on flood. They have what they call middle, which is what we're in now, 50 lumens. And then we have high and floodlight, 365 lumens. Okay, and this is a uh, red uh, strobe warning. Uh, if you, we're in floodlight now, so if you click it again, you're just going to go into red SOS. Okay, and if you click it again... It's gonna go in a red steady. Click it again, it's gonna go back to um, floodlight again. The high mode of floodlight. Click it again, goes back to the red flashy. Um, to get back to the spotlight, you just hold it down for a few moments here and then you can turn the spotlight back on. So, pretty cool there. To turn it off, you're just gonna hold it down for about a half a second. As I said before, this does have um, a lockout mode. So for the lockout mode, you're going to hold this down for three seconds. And the light does turn on for a moment, so I'll show this on camera here. Sorry if my autofocus isn't the best, so hold it down for three seconds here. And you're going to see it's flashing. That means that the uh, H6R is now in lockout, and if you just press the switch, it's just going to flash again, letting you know it is in lockout. And to take it back out of lockout, you're going to hold it down for, again, another three seconds. And you should see that flashing red light again, which means now we're out of lockout. And if we want to go back to normal modes, I just held it down to get over back to spotlight. And the rest is the same if you want to go back in the red light and the floodlight. So anyway, guys, let's go ahead and take this outside and test it in the dark. Just got to wait for the sun to go down. 
Um, we'll go ahead and test out uh, all three of the different lighting modes. Um, I don't expect to see a lot on the red light at night. I probably have to shine it against my hand. It's going to be pretty dim at five lumens and uh, also because of the color. Um, my camera always has a hard time picking up the very low modes of flashlights, like half lumens or, or something like that. But the rest of the modes should be good. So we'll definitely check out the spotlight and the floodlight outside once the sun goes down. So stay tuned for that next, guys. Okay, before you see the beam shots here later tonight, just wanted to go over my thoughts of wearing this. This does, this is very comfortable. Um, it's very snug, that little band I showed you um, all the way around this uh, rubberized seal all the way around the bottom of the headband. Very nice, keeps it very snug. There are several adjustments on this, as you can see, and there's one for the top, depending on what uh, size head you have. And uh, another thing I didn't talk about, this does have a uh, anti-reverse polarity design. And they do show you right here how to put the battery in. Uh, let's see if I can zoom in here. So there you go. You can see how to put the battery in. But it does have an anti-reverse um, polarity design. So very nice. And you can adjust this on the fly. You can hear that clicking. Um, I like when I'm typically wearing a headlamp like this to angle it slightly down towards the ground so I can clearly see where I'm walking at night. And then if I just want to see ahead of me, I'll just usually just move my head up a little bit. But you can also click this up and down as you wish. So I just thought I'd show you that before we go out and see the uh, beam shots here in just a moment. Still waiting for the uh, sun to set here in uh, sunny Florida. And so the beam shots will be coming up next, guys. All right, we are outside here with the Trustfire H6R headlamp. And uh, night has finally come, so we're going to test out this headlamp here. First, we're going to start out in spotlight. And I am actually wearing it on my head at the moment. And uh, in a little bit, I'll take a walk out there, probably with the spotlight and the floodlight, two separate segments, I guess, to show you both of those. So anyway, let's go ahead and turn the uh, light on here. So this is uh, 30 lumens and doing a pretty good job. You can see my little uh, solar light there in the yard. And you can just see the bird bass. The bird bass are probably about 40, 45 feet away from me. And I can just make out the stump out there. I'm gonna move the camera up a little bit. And just make out the stump out there. This is my finger there, sorry. It's out there, I can just barely see it, but the spotlight it's actually doing pretty well for this low mode, 30 lumens. Let's bump it up again. Now we're 125 lumens. Doing a really nice job making out that stump out there. See it out there. It's a little hard to coordinate this one, it's on my head. I'm used to having a flashlight in my hand. So doing a really nice job there. Um, let's bump it up to high, 340, yeah, 343 lumens. So oh, yeah, really, really booming out there. Really nice. Let me angle it up a little more out. There we go, that makes it better. So said, uh, as uh, the segment you saw before this, you can see you can adjust it really easily up or down on your head. Here are the little clicks. All right, let's bump it into extra high, 1,350 lumens. So yeah, doing a really good job. I'm gonna take a walk out there, uh, come back and then we'll do the uh, flood floodlight. Okay, so, so that was the spotlight. Let's go ahead and hold it down. It's gonna probably go into the red light. So hold it for a moment. Yep, now we're in red light. You can see it uh, on my hand here. I don't think you're really gonna see it much on the, the camera. But it's definitely there. I mean, you can definitely read stuff and see things. 
Um, yeah, so you definitely can see things. I mean, if you had to use, read something or look something, it would be probably okay for that. Let's go ahead and click it over to the floodlight. So floodlight is going to start out, um, let's see, in the what they call middle, 50 lumens. So this is the floodlight. Let me angle it out a little bit more. So definitely gets out there. You definitely see it. Again, this is 50 lumens with the floodlight. Angle the camera down a bit. You can see pretty well with 50 lumens. Mm. I'd almost say the spotlight's probably better for walking around. Let's uh, click it again. We're going to put it into high for flood, 365 lumens. There's flood. Yeah, let's see, I think, yeah, now I have it aimed a little bit more straight out, I believe. So let me take a walk out there in high, 365 lumens in the flood mode. Okay, so that was the flood mode, and on the way back, I switched it to the SOS mode with the red light. So hopefully you can see that on the camera. Probably a little far away, and it's only five lumens in the red modes, so just be aware of that. I am back in spotlight now. I do like the spotlight. It does really well in the low modes, uh, 30 lumens and now 125 lumens. Does really, really good. It's got a nice bit of throw on it. It's kind of a flood slash throw beam. Um, but I like it. I, I really like it. I think it's really handy. The band is really comfortable in my head. Um, so it's definitely comfortable to wear. Um, so, and I don't have any hair in my head, so it's on my, my scalp pretty much. So it's, uh, it's pretty comfortable, uh, band to wear on your head. So that's really nice. Let me bump it up here. Go back to the lowest in a moment. That's the highest on the spotlight back to the lowest all right well thank you again for guys for joining me for another flashlight uh video review here of the uh trust fire h6r headlamp uh, any links or coupons i'll put in the description in the video so again guys thanks again for watching please remember to like share and subscribe really appreciate it hopefully i can continue to grow the channel and i really appreciate your guys support happy lumens take care Don't